Hi everyone, welcome to this five minute video to present the features and subject matter of the Excitec RC detailing course for Revit. My name is Lawrence Hooker and I'm a technical consultant here at Excitec. As many of you would already appreciate, 3D detailing gives many advantages such as confidence in the design, speed and construction verification. The main advantage to the engineer and technician is their sheer speed of detailing. Within our course you will learn how to produce accurate parametric professional drawings and details that conform to current standards. Bar bending schedules are also generated and conform to BS8666-2005. Within our RC detailing course you will receive a full training manual and a copy of our RC detailing template, Dynamo scripts which enable many of the features that you will see throughout this course. So you begin by reinforcing a simple column and foundation detail. You add the main reinforcement bar, as you can see here, which will snap to the corners of the links. And you then distribute the links up the column. Okay, so once the links are distributed up the column, we then go ahead and start to look at bar bending schedules, which are configured within our template. We then give the reinforcement bar the correct partition, as well as correct memory identification. The bar bending schedule is then created and remains dynamic to the model, which is very, very useful. So, next we start to have a look at reinforcement couplers. You add reinforcement and couplers and anchors to the model using loadable families. So, our um, RC detailing template contains uh, many pieces of hardware, specifically from Ancon. And what you'll notice is, as we start to add these couplers in, they remain dynamic back to the model. So, for example, here, when we add the couplers into the uh, main column reinforcement here, you'll see that the uh, reinforcement bar will change length to uh, match the engagement of the coupler based on manufacturer specifications. We then look at detailing a slab that has been detailed using area reinforcement. First, you will learn how to control the presentation of rebar ranges. And in this example, we just show one rebar from each range. You then add multi-rebar annotations, or MRAs, to the model. Um, comments and layers are automatically recovered from the 3D rebar elements onto the MRAs. You can guarantee that your 2D details are presented correctly, providing that the 3D model data is accurate. We then use some third party tools, um, also included within the course here, to accurately align and distribute the MRAs to make presentable drawings. We then start to um, add details to the simple column and foundation detail that you created earlier on. Again, we can add some MRAs in section here. You will then start to see the dynamic nature of the MRAs and the reinforcement by adjusting the uh, links, the quantity of links, and you can see the MRA updates in real time. So then bar marks are added to the bottom layer of the reinforcement in the foundation. Again, if the bar changes, a new bar mark is assigned and all the tags, bending schedules and MRAs update, giving you the confidence that details will always remain accurate and up to date to your design. So here you can actually see the use of a Dynamo script to recreate the bar bending schedule in Microsoft Excel. This Dynamo script is provided along with our RC template for your use. So we select the view, we then uh, specify the Excel uh, model, and then we hit go. And you can see that Dynamo then generates that um, bending schedule in Microsoft Excel. Okay, so just remains for me to say thank you for your attention, and we certainly look forward to seeing you on one of our unique RC courses very soon.